Hello YouTubers, my free time story here with you. Today's flight is going to be from Jackson Hole, Wyoming to Salt Lake City. We're going to be flying at flight level 340. The route is the Geyser 4 SID to the Nazi trans Transition, Jackson Transition, Nordak, Nord K3 Arrival Star. My payload, 1,100, zero fuel weight is going to be 10,000 points, 10,700. Fuel, 1,600, reserves, 900. The winds at 34,000 feet will be 269 at 27. Here's my fixes that I'm going to be entering into my FMC. And here is the SID chart that I'll be flying. We're flying out to the Geyer JTIC, whatever, heading 17 degrees for 12 miles out to Nalsi, then back around to Jack, and we'll be arriving with this star approach, the uh, Nord 3 arrival. We're going to hit Jackson, or Jack, Lava. LHO, um, Carter, and then when we're at Carter, we have, there's a, some special instructions here. We have to be at 250 knots um, if we're landing from the south. Our Nord transition to Weber, and then from Weber, we should expect a uh, final um, what does it say? And hit around, localize around, and I'll just approach, select final approach course. Um, so here's a visual of kind of what I'll be taking here. This, I pulled up sim routes, and it's making me go off way over here. I don't know why. But basically, we will be heading up from Jackson down to Logan here, and then flying right into Salt Lake. I don't know if we zoom in, jump around. Yeah, so there's our fixes. But there's a couple, there's a few rules that we have to follow to. We have to be at 24,000 feet here, 18,000, 15,000, 12,000, and then in for landing. I'm gonna go plug this into my FMC and we'll start the flight. I'm back in my flight sim and I typed in all the waypoints and routes and all that good stuff into the FMC. And here's the picture of the active route that I'm taking. The legs, basically they match up with my chart, the SID flying out of Jackson Hole. And then once we hit Jackson, we're going to take the, again, the Nord K3 arrival. And I punched in all those numbers, made sure we're following all the height and speed restrictions. Oops, how did that get in there? I don't know how this stuff got in there. Let's delete that out of there. Okay. And one more delete. Execute. So there we go. We have it. Let's step through. We're going to... Hold on. The TR007 to Geyer to J A T I K to Jack to Lava LHO Carter Nord Nord K and then our transition to Weber and then vectored into runway what was it? 17 left, I believe. 16 left. Alright. I'm at the runway, set the flaps, and we're going to take off. There's the Grand Tetons, they used to live right by there. Taking off. 
All right, so we're gonna head to uh, heading 007. We got everything programmed in um, autopilot. Uh, we got our um, knots and all that programmed in there. All right, I can't do this with one hand. Gear up. And let's hit LNAV. Where's my mouse? VNAV and LNAV. And we gotta make sure autopilot is, all the ILO, autopilots are turned on. And we are currently four, three nautical miles away from our first um, waypoint here. And we're heading towards J-A-T-I-K. Um, now we're heading towards um, now now Sai or whatever 13 miles and I don't think we want to be that high and that fast so let's go let's change that um, to 250 and let's be at um, or we can keep it at 117 but I, I don't want to go that fast and it changed it up on our um, autopilot and it also matches our altitude up here and it automatically changes um, for us so we're at 10,000 feet heading up to 11.7 nine miles out there's the lake down there off to our left It's a little choppy, a little windy. What's our winds? Winds 258, 21 knots. 258, 22 knots, it says on the FMC. But uh, here I got some. I made some new gauges. I'm actually flying. I didn't tell you what I'm flying. I'm flying in the Learjet 60, and I made this panel here. I made the uh, center panel, and then have the uh, FMC. All right. So we're turning here. Actually, I would have liked to turn the other way, but that's okay. head right into the mountains. Oh no, we'll make it. So what we're doing is we're turning back to Jack. Let me see if I can get my map out here. Where did I put all this stuff? So basically we flew out, we followed this route. We went out to Nalsi. We're making a left-hand turn back to Jack. Once we hit Jack, we will uh, follow this um, star. I can zoom in or zoom out. We'll zoom out a little bit. So here's the jack. Our top of descent there. And then our lava, LHO, and then back into uh, Salt Lake. For runway 17 left, I believe. I don't know, I always forget. We are 32 miles away from lava 
and we are currently flying at 305 knots, flight level 240. And we're about ready to reach the top of our descent here. And I was talking about these gauges. And these gauges, the, this one, this one, this one, and the FMC are made by ISG or Integrated Sim Avionics. Uh, which you can put these gauges in to any airplane and it'll make it so you can have an FMC so you can take a stock prepared any stock prepared airplane or FSX airplane and and give it an FMC which is pretty cool our winds are 257 at 25 and when I looked at the weather um, I had programmed FMC to winds from 269 at 27 so it's pretty close so this gauge here has TCAS and you can see there's a uh, airplane uh, was that 4,000 feet above us quite a ways out though probably 15 miles out and we're coming up to lava 12 miles out from lava once we hit lava we should be dropping down to 18,000 if we look at our chart lava we want to be at 24 from Jackson to Lava at 24 so we need to go over this point at 24 which we're going to do then from there we need to drop down to uh, what does it say LHO is that 18 and that's what we have programmed in here 33 miles from LHO I don't know if we can see our top of our descent, but we're currently at 24,000 feet and we're going to need to drop down to 18,000 feet um, by the time we hit LHO. So let's see, right here, this little dot, top of descent, we should start to... We are just going down now. We hit our top of descent and we are falling from 24,000 and we're heading to 18,000 into LHO and we are five miles from LHO. I don't know if that's the... lake out there yet. Then uh, we need to hit Carter at 15,000 feet and here's our top of descent line here. getting pretty close we got another guy flying above us here. we're approaching Carter now and now we're going to be going to hit the NOR D DK I don't know if you can see my sheet but we are we went to LHO. Now we're going to do our Nordic Nord K transition into Weber um, in four miles here. So we'll be taking a left hand turn. Um, and the first time that I've done this with calculating fuel, my progress, it looks like I'm going to have 0.8 fuel left in the uh, tanks. So 
So Weber, we're hitting, turning to Weber now. We want to be at 190 knots, 1200. I'm sorry, one two, flight level 120. And here's our top of descent. So when we hit that circle, we'll start to head down. Right now we're currently at 18,000. Uh, we passed Weber and now I am going to tune into the ILS frequency and I'm just going to have my nav hold here um, 161 and we're going to do an approach landing here And we'll just let the airplane fly itself in. I'm going to take autopilot off. I'm going to land it myself. Arm my spoilers, gears down. Coming in a little high, but I like to kind of drop in, glide right before touchdown. Reversers. All right, manual brake. There we go. And I can arm my taxi speed fifteen knots. Autopilot will taxi me in. We can turn it down a little bit. Right here, here's a gauge. Whoops, I'm driving all crazy. All right, and how much fuel do we have left? 0.7. Not too bad. Thanks for watching.